Hey everybody, it's Master Aquatics. Thanks for coming back. I'm bringing you guys another video. Please excuse my absence. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff lately in real life, so I do apologize for not uploading as much. But thank you to the ones who return and watch my videos regardless. Anyways, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video and let's talk about what needs to be talked about. Let's talk about the life cycle of an angelfish. So, this video is really directed towards people who don't know too much about angelfish. Um, so, angelfish are not live barriers, they are egg layers. They lay eggs, and in return, the eggs will hatch and they will become fry. And then, from fry, they will grow and develop into angelfish. So, the process starts like this. So, usually two angelfish in your tank will form and they will become united and a united angelfish with another angelfish is pretty much called a pair um, and what they'll do is they'll start laying eggs throughout your tank um, angelfish like to lay eggs on leaves slates the side of your glass and also on the filter intake or the heater Pretty much whatever is convenient for them that's where they are going to lay their eggs um, so when they lay their eggs they usually lay eggs up to about 200 to 300 eggs 300 to 400 to 500 just depends on how well you feed them and how often you change out their water um, once they lay their eggs give the eggs about three days and they will hatch but the fry will not become free swimming whatsoever they will be in a stage called wigglers um, and what that is is their tail will become visible and it'll start moving back and forth or side to side if you will and it'll do a wiggling motion and that's why we call them wigglers and what you see in front of you is the wiggler stage of the baby angelfish that is what they look like when they become wiggler stage at this stage the baby angelfish can't really do anything um, they just sit for another three to four days and they feed off of the egg yolk sac within their egg and once that is diminished then they will start eating either baby brine shrimp or whatever their owner is feeding them. Um, you can also just have them eat algae in the tank. They will go for algae. Um, that's how I'm currently raising my four baby angelfish fry. They just eat algae. But uh, I have started throwing flakes in there and they started going for that. Um, and then, like I said, about three days later, um, they'll start developing more defined characteristics such as, you know, eyeballs. You can see their eyes a lot more and they'll start moving a little bit more. Um, they will start st sticking the stuff, but give them a day after that, after six days, so about a week, and they will start sw uh, free swimming for you. And free swimming is when they start swimming completely and they don't stick to services and sit there um, for periods of times. They will actually be actively swimming in search of food, um, in search of anything that they can fit in their little mouths. But uh, most people, like I said, will feed them baby brine shrimp. Baby brine shrimp is the best food source for fry definitely but uh, if you have your parents raising the angelfish then this is what it looks like and I got lucky because not all angelfish pairs will raise their kids correctly um, once they become free swimming um, give them about a month and that's what they'll look like they'll start developing um, shapes such as the finnage um, it'll all start developing they won't look like angelfish yet but you can kind of see and kind of tell you know how they start forming their body and, and shapes and their characteristics and their looks you won't be able to see any color yet 
um, you won't be able to see any color until I would say like three months and uh, even then you'll never know what an angelfish will look like you won't see the true beauty of an angelfish until they get to about adult size which is about six to eight months of age that's when angelfish will reach adult size okay so at this stage you really want to make sure that you are constantly taking care of the water quality for these guys because when they first start become becoming free swimming they need clean water at all times clean water is very important because this is what's going to help them grow the most on top of the daily feeding of brine shrimp for these guys um, so make sure that after you're done feeding these guys that you go ahead and you go in there and you clean out all of the uneaten food at the bottom of the floor of your fish tank also you want to make sure that you use sponge filters because at this stage they are vulnerable to death and it's kind of common for your angelfish fry to you know not <laughs> live you know some of them you know some batches you're gonna get they're not gonna want to live so you want to make sure that uh, you stay on top of your water changes to increase the chances of your fry of surviving if you become successful this is what your batch is going to look like for the first uh, three to four months these angelfish are about three to four months years old as you can see they look like angelfish but they're pretty small they're not that big um, and this is when they are going to be easy to take care of they're a lot easier to take care of when they're a little bit grown when they are juvenile size such as this size and this is when you can kind of you know be laid back and a little bit more lenient with your water changes you don't have to be so strict you don't have to keep cleaning the water um, but you still want to feed them and you still want to do um, some daily water changes now when angelfish are fully grown when they get pretty medium sized like the ones that you see here it is a blast keeping these guys and I absolutely love angelfish they're very sociable they always have a appetite they always want to eat if you take care of them properly then you know you should have no issues they're very hardy you know they don't demand top-notch quality pristine water when they are adults when they're younger when they're babies yeah you know you want to make sure that their water is top-notch but as they get older you know they can they can survive different um, temperature settings and water you know settings as well um, I take it back on the temperature as far as temperature you definitely want to keep the temperature at 80 degrees so yeah um, and it's fun you know raising these guys from you know fry to to adult angels and just watching them you know turn into this magnificent creature it's definitely one of the best experiences ever in the hobby at least for me you know is raising angelfish from egg to adult size and just watching them go through the different stages of life for them um and that's pretty much it i think i've went over all of the details regarding the different stages of life for these guys hopefully the information that i gave you is pretty helpful hopefully you learned something from it um let me know down in the comment section if you guys have any questions i really love getting comments and just seeing what you guys have to say you know for this for the content that i put out you know that really makes my day so if you want to make me happy leave me a comment i'll be sure to reply to you and um hopefully you know i can see you guys in the next video you know and hopefully the next video is soon um like i said i know i've been slacking a little bit on the videos but 
um, I'll go ahead and get back on it and keep grinding out these videos for you guys because I know many of you enjoy the videos and I know many of you want to see me improve and continue to put out these videos um, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video take care bye